Well, hello, friends. Trey Poole here. I'm the minister of the gospel for the Yacht Church of Christ, and I want to welcome you back as we get started with our message in a minute. Hope and pray that you're doing well, and again, welcome to a new year of 2021. I know almost everybody is glad to see 2020 go. It was full of difficulties and all kind of heartaches and struggles, but there was also good uh, that we can find back in 2020. But now we're in 2021, and we're anticipating and enjoying the first six days of a new year. Hope and pray that you're doing well and that you are looking back to learn from the future, uh, learn for the future from the past, how we can grow, how we can get better in a new year. So I want to share something with you today uh, for just a minute. And I want you to consider this. This was shared by uh, Steve Higginbotham on Facebook earlier this week. It says, who was Noah without his flood? Who was Job without his tragedy and losses? Who was Hannah without her tears? Who was Daniel without his lion's den? Who were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego without their fiery furnace? Or who was Stephen without the stones? Who was the Apostle Paul without his imprisonment and his stripes? And who can remember Jesus without his cross? You see, all of these Bible characters and so many more are known for and remembered because of something they did, how they endured, how they persevered, how they suffered, how they went through something with God faithfully. Well, and then there's your story and there's mine. So today, will you view your suffering as a sign of abandonment or as rather an opportunity to glorify God? Now, I want to read to you today from 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 16. Peter writes, Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. Will you today choose to view your suffering as a Christian as a sign of God's abandonment? Or will you rather see it as an opportunity to glorify God? I believe Jesus hit the nail on the head in Matthew 5 and verse 16 when he said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. May we, like Noah and Job and Hannah, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, even Stephen and Paul and the Lord Jesus Christ himself, glorify God in all of our life. Well, may God bless you. We love you. Take care. Church family, if you need me, you know you can call me, send me a message. Whatever you need to do, come by the house if you must. We'd love for you to uh, reach out and let us know how we can help. Our elders, they're available as well. Uh, let us know what we can do to help you uh, in your time of need. Remember, let's pray for one another. Uh, pray uh, for healing, for restoration, for renewal, for strength, and uh, hope and pray to see you tomorrow night. Lord willing, 6 o'clock for Bible study. Brother Gary Hall does a great job. But until then, if you need us, please let us know how. We love you. Take care. God bless you. We'll see you soon.